Techno Hunger 3. What do we want deep down but to be free? Free from fear, hunger, pain or solitude. On this premise we have built an edifice, erected walls and moats to hoard the goods, erected castes and saints to hail the gods, whereupon elected kings feasted on the loot. Outside toil the barren land, or in childbirth feel the pangs of strain, till the soil eat the carcasses of the slain, and in sorrow bury next of kin. Ignorance is grown in unopened books, while classes teach to harbor myths. Somber stares of shallow spirits crave the crosses, crescent moons, six-sided stars, and fiery signs of faith, totems, talismans, and tokens, deep despair the damned, souls that seek salvation, shedding anguished tears. Robed guide lead the masses, preach, invent the sacred word, while, alas, the poor will also be for whom prayer is the only cure. So stand inert while the young die in a war they have not voted, but blessed are they who know that God is on their side. They wear the metal shouts of blood that stains the fear of pain. Soldiers may have the greater share of honors, medals, and parades, but wealth is clutched by businessmen who suck the riches from the tired many Countrymen, rally round your token cloth in patriotic duty to kill your way to history. How noble is the cause to give your life for a political borderline or wealth for your nation's wealthy. Back home, muscles sweat the labor's wage. In and out the clocks punch time, for nothing lost is nothing gained. And earnings drive up the market, evening shatters hope that morning bread, financial markets in the news, the common man must know, the rich and how investors fare with money that is not theirs. Produce the sell and sell they must, create an advertisement, insatiable lust of rings, alcohol and cars and cars, in ever greater luxury turn out. For those who can afford it understood, and greater Tracts of land consume the trees and wildlife which it shelters in the beach and green and shadows hide must yield to humanity's inflated pride. If we cannot eat them, shoot them and call it calling, for their numbers swell. Our dinners cannot miss that portion made of flesh. Flesh itself is our desire in ever ravenous appetite, for what one calls love is what one rapes. Frankincense and myrrh may not buy a god, but for a knight's carnal bout may meet the price. With glamour villas and a yacht, help to gather damsels, better yet a harem, and when they do not suffice, a slut. Thighs spread open, though poor her body, if may right, hopes to rise above her caste. Sensuous curves, desirable in themselves, are made the siren's songs beguile us into buying what we really did not need. That wondrous beauty that is love, which gushes forth from the beast within and tames it in mystical romance, has been transformed by barter of a body measured by its weight in gold. So the wealthy in their greed monopolize the need to breed. The castes are always there, though the chains be made of gossip, and income checks decide the level we reside. The poor, though, are not enough. Parias we must create. So queers, gypsies, Palestinians, and Jews, nigger, kikes, spikes, and dagos, like strata in the rocks, are the groundworks of society who know their place in sedimented history. Where may we lay the weary thoughts when stillness holds them hostage? A subtle reenactment of historic triumph that falls before the warlord's banner, a symbolic transformation of shallow wrath, who led the folk 
in cannibalistic orgies, while symphonies raged in modern fanfare, and civilization domestic values gave tranquil hopes and future sentiments of life. How did this flea raise the beast within, forge the hatred of opposing wills, and spread death's gas across the weakened bodies? O oh, captains who lead us forth so we do not have to bear the blame, but blindly beget your destiny. A few may raise their voice, call for ignorance to end, hope upheavals may reorganize, create what beauty's thrust has wrought, or seek what others overlooked, so as to understand why it must be so or can be otherwise. Some songs that voices tend grow upon wings the wind supplies, call us to listen to what so long unseen, lest we forget the bearer's beckoning. When hums the human heart inside, music murmurs the flesh eternal fleeting life, hovering between infinities of everlasting nothingness. Awake upon a birth slowly stirs a new of time that measures the before and after of non-existent instants, for they are gone just as they are. But if each moment just is not, how do they add up to human life? How do we remember an evanescent past if the present never is? So we move, but do not ask, along a thread of solid seeming time. Time, so cruel, takes our carefree games and undoes future hopes, leaving nothing but the fleeting memories lingering in wisps of whispers slow the mellow song, glows as a light in darkness to rhythms in backgrounds sensuous notes. My puppy sleeps beside me and does not pass judgment. While darkness caresses everything, unseeable time slips past my dreams Onward where cities have come and gone, on the wings of poesy of Dionysian heights, seek to speak to who will come long after. What little I do know, they will have to learn anew, but so much will be beyond us, if we could only know. So onward, in false progress, we all shuffle, and miles to go before we sleep, for the more we have, the more we think we need possessing ever more, the more we think we're freed. And the more from others take. She was not so off the mark when she casually replied, the more of that is, the more there is of mine, the less there is of yours. We're born on this small vessel with little room to spare as we sail the cosmic seas. The going may now be calm, but tempests loom ahead and strife erupt within. For as we look across the universe, the where and how of birth, and even its demise, in that stretch of time, the speck we think is so grandiose, within it lies our individual destiny. But tables now have turned. It is we who hold it hostage, we who hold its fate. I couche de bonheur. The light goes out. Darkness is silent as to what awaits tomorrow. <laughs>